Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I filmed. I recently was sick as a dog. Um, and I just had a cold, but it would not go away for like a week. So I'm pretty behind on uploading videos. But in light of being sick, I thought I could make a video out of it. So I wanted to show you guys some things that I do to kind of beat the common cold. <laughs> um, so if you want to know more on that, then just keep watching. So the first thing that I want to tell you is that when you have a cold, the worst thing you can do is drink dairy products or have anything dairy because it does tend to flare up some things when you are sick. So I just try to see, stick with clear liquids, broths, um, anything like that. Um, hot tea with um, honey and sugar. I recommend chamomile or mint tea is really good for you when you are sick. Um, you can get that at your local grocery store, really anywhere, and then you just need hot water and some sugar. Um, try not to ha add, again, any milk products to it. Um, that will just make it worse, but, um, sorry, my back itches. Um, also, I try to stay very lotioned, um, because in the colder months, our skin tends to get dry and cracked and things can get in the cracks. So you just want to keep your face and body nice and lotioned. Um, you can use any body lotion that you like. I try to use like the clinical stuff, um, like the Cetaphils and everything like that works really well. Um, and if you're trying to beat your cold, the best thing that I like to do is sweat. Um, when you sweat, you're letting out the toxins in your body. So at night, I try to put the heat up pretty high, um, around 78, 70-ish. And then I usually put on a long sleeve shirt like this. And I put on a sweater over top. I put on leggings with sweatpants over top. And then I put on some heavy, thick socks along with a bathrobe and a hood and um then I just get myself under the covers and I try to sweat it out and usually sweating throughout the night makes me feel a lot better um I don't recommend doing this if you have a fever though um just because you're going to get even hotter and you don't want to raise your temperature like that but if you don't have a fever and you just have the common cold usually with the common cold you don't really get a fever anyway um, it fevers more with infection, not really a virus, but, um, if it is viral, I do recommend sweating it out just because it really does help. Um, another thing, if you can't sleep, um, the best thing I could tell you to get is NyQuil. NyQuil is great. It's just cold and flu relief, um, for the nighttime. It has acetaminophen, um, Doxylamin, succinate, and dextromethorphan, HBR. It just covers the common cough, sneezing, runny nose, minor aches and pains, headaches, sore throat, anything like that. Um, but it will make you sleep, so do not take this during the day. If you do have to um, work during the day or anything like that, you can get the DayQuil. It has every, it has the same components in it, just not a sleep aid. It's basically the same thing. Um, along with that, um, if you do have a stuffy nose, you tend to breathe through the mouth. A lot, which can cause dry and chapped lips. I wanted to let you guys know that my favorite chapstick is this one here. This is by Chapstick, and it is the medicated one. This stuff works so well. I use this all the time. I really don't have another favorite chapstick. I don't, I, I like the EOS um, balls. I like the um, Blistex, but I always come back to the chapstick medicated one. The medicated one is what really works for my chap lips. It doesn't just put a coat of wax over it. It does have medicine in it. So that really helps a lot. Um, it's also made by Pfizer, if you didn't know, which is a pharmaceutical company. So yeah, just a quick little fun fact. 
Also, if you're trying to speed up this process of a cold, you wanna make sure you keep blowing your nose if you have mucus. Do not sniffle. Don't, don't keep doing that because you're just sucking in everything else and it's gonna go down the back of your throat, can cause a sore throat, it's gonna make you cough, mucus is gonna get in the chest, it's gonna get tight, and then you're gonna cough it up. It's gonna be very hard to sleep, so just remember to keep blowing your nose. If you have any kind of mucus or any kind of phlegm in you, make sure you're coughing and spitting it out. Make sure you're sneezing and getting it out. And I also wanted to talk about about oh the airborne gummies airborne the brand makes gummies for immune health they have all kind of vitamins in it like a boost of vitamin c all kinds of things like that you can take up to nine a day i don't have the bottle with me because i finished it but i swear to god that sped up the process of my cold tenfold it really helped a lot um i you can take nine a day so i take three in the morning three in the afternoon and then three at night um so yeah that is pretty much the remedy that i used to cure my cold and that was um about the first time i'd ever use a remedy like that um the sweating i've done before but the immune health and um things like that i'm a sniffler too so i kind of noticed that when i got it out it did speed up the process a little bit more because you're getting out all the toxins that are in you along with the virus. So yeah, those are my tips on the common cold and how to get rid of it because um, it's going around. Um, I did have a, I work for a hospital, so I did have a flu shot. Thank God it wasn't the flu. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick little video on the cold and how you can kind of get rid of your symptoms if you're having trouble this season already because tis the season to be sick um, and it's going to happen eventually. So if you want to catch it before it starts, make sure you're eating healthy foods and keeping your immune system up, up, up because that's really going to prevent you from getting sick and always 100% wash your hands. That is like the most important thing. Um, and the most common sense thing you can do is wash your hands and you won't get sick. Um, keep your hands out of your eyes, out of your nose, out of your ears, out of your mouth, and you won't get sick. So if you have any questions on anything that I talked about today, just drop a comment down below. I am back to filming. I feel so much better. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.